I think it's going to be. I think it has the makings of being the fight of the decade or the new or the century because you look at the two fighters. They're two outstanding guys. They're the, they're the top of their game. Forget about all that stuff with Mayweather and um, and uh, McGregor the other week. We're talking about two guys who are two practicing boxers, regularly fighting at the at their best, both at their best, and. You look at a guy in Golovkin who's willing to go fight in anybody's backyard, as he's doing, he's going into to fight in the other guy's backyard. That's the, that tells you what, what he's about. He fights probably more regular than anybody. He was fighting very, very regularly, and I think that fight he had in New York where, um, I'm not say he struggled a bit, but he looked tired to me. He looked like he'd be a, he had the look of a fighter who's been in the gym too long, been you know, working too hard, and that break that he's got now, against Daniel Jacobs, and that, that break he's got now, which is probably about six months out, has done him in a world of good. It wasn't good for Billy Joe Saunders because he's supposed to afford him, but it's done him in a world of good. And with uh, Alvarez, he's just got better and better. You know, he, he, he's, he's just become a much better fighter all round. Um, he is a quality fighter. Um, he can box, he can punch, but so can the other guys, so can Golovkin. They've both got these attributes. For me, it's uh, it, it has all the hallmarks of being on your edge of your seat. I, I don't think it's going to disappoint at all. I just think you've got two styles that's going to make a fantastic fight. And what, when you was next to you at the press conference in July, when you were there with Oscar De La Hoya, was there anything that surprised you or told you about either of them? I was surprised how much taller Golovkin was than than Alvarez. I was, you know, I, I was a bit, little bit surprised from that point of view. You know, it, it suit Alvarez going up in the weight. He was struggling to make um, 154, so to go up is going to suit him. But it, they're just, they're just con you know, you look at them, they are consummate professionals. They are both in, both look after their bodies. They both look ready for action. That's what good athletes, good fighters do. That's what they are. They're ready to go. And you can see they're both relishing the fight. You know, they both want the fight. Of course, they're going to make a lot of money, but they're fighting men, and they want to find out who is the best. And on the 16th of September, we're going to find that out. Billy Joe Saunders fights Willie Monroe a few hours earlier. Is there a real chance he could face the yeah, winner? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've, we've had negotiations with both camps, and that's the logical fight. You know, Bill's got to come through a tough fight. He comes through that fight, then... They've unified the belts. Somebody's unified the belts, bar one, Bill's belt, the WBO belt. So Bill's got an important piece of the jigsaw. And if you look at Bill now, how he's turned himself around, you look at, I know he's been posting pictures, he looks like a totally different person, a different athlete. He's got the bit between his teeth. The pen is dropped. So he wants to be up there competing with these guys. He wants to be in with a winner. And that's my job to deliver that, providing he comes through against Munro, which I hope I'm, I'm quite sure, you know, if he does what he can do, it, you know, he can be there. And Bill's, Bill's a good fighter. Southpaw, he's got a great boxing brain. He's not lived the life. He, when, he, when he trains for a fight, he lives the life. But it's the bits in between. This time round, you look at him, you can see the condition he's in. You know, Dominic's got him really in great condition. And you can see that being away from his environment, being in the gym, now he's over in Spain. But you can see that for him is the way forward. So Bill has got to look good, and I am promised that I'll deliver him one of those guys, the winner of those guys. Who will win between Canelo and Golovkin? I fancy Golovkin. Um, I fancy Golovkin big time um, the early part of the year. Then after that fight against Jacobs, I thought it's even up. And I think it has even up. I think it's like this, but I still fancy Golovkin. I think Golovkin's a superb fighter. Um, he can box, he can punch. He's, there's a few fights where he takes shots because he knows he can land a big one. But when it comes, when he wants to box, he can box. And it'd be interesting to see with a pair of them, with those body punches, where it's going to go. You know, who's going to slow, slow down, who slowed down first. But the atmosphere is going to be phenomenal. You've got the... That Mexican crowd, they're all going to be there. I mean, 95% of the crowd are going to be for, or even 99% are going to be for Alvarez. This guy's going in his backyard. He fancies it. He wants it. It's the fight he's been after for a long, long time. Alvarez people, it took them a while. You know, it took Golden Boy a long while before they decided they are going to make the fight. They've seen a chink in the armour. They, I believe they think they've seen a chink in the armour of Golovkin. That's why they've made the fight. 
And Alvarez is still a baby. And was he about 26 now? Yeah. He's not an old guy, you know, so you think he's been around forever. So it's going to be, you know, is Golovkin going? Is he gone a bit? You know, he's a he's an older guy, but he's a super, in super condition. Is he gone? Has he lost a little bit? We'll find out. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I just th- I just think whoever wins, they you know they're they're going to be they're going to you know they're going to be crowned and walking about with you know with, with with the best in the business. They're going to be wearing that crown. Whoever wins, but I'll tell you what, whoever wins is going to come for a tough fight. It's going to be a tough fight. <laughs> to buy Canelo v Golovkin, press the box office button on your Sky Remote or go to boxnation.com. It's easy. Buy it. It's going to be a great fight. <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about boxing. The greatest moments have always been when the best fight the best. Pay attention. History is about to repeat itself. To buy Canelo versus Golovkin at 16.95. Press box office on your Sky Remote or visit boxnation.com.